Setting up your VCBox V2 Pro begins with the physical connections. First, connect the power adapter and HDMI cable to your device. Insert the Wi-Fi antenna and install two AAA batteries in the remote control. These physical connections are essential before proceeding to the pairing process. Now for the crucial Bluetooth pairing step. Hold down both the OK button and the volume down button on your remote simultaneously. Continue holding these buttons until you see the red light on the remote begin to flash. This flashing red light indicates that the remote has entered pairing mode. To verify the Bluetooth connection, navigate to your VC box home screen, go to system settings, then select Bluetooth to confirm your remote is properly connected. If the remote is not paired, you can also press the voice command button on your remote. This should automatically prompt the pairing process to begin. Proper Bluetooth connection is essential for your VC box remote's voice control functionality. Once paired successfully, you can use voice commands to navigate and control your device efficiently. Programming your VC box remote to control your TV requires positioning both remotes close together. This allows the VC box remote to learn the infrared signals from your TV remote. First, Press and hold the power button on your VC box remote until the indicator light becomes solid. This puts the remote into programming mode. Next, press the button you want to program on the VC box remote. For example, if you want to program the volume up button, press it now. The light will start blinking to indicate it's ready to learn. Now press the corresponding button on your TV remote. The VC box remote will capture and learn this signal. When successful, the light will flash three times and then become solid again. Repeat this process for any other buttons you want to program, such as volume, channel, or input buttons. To exit programming mode, simply press any button that you haven't programmed. If you experience issues with programming or the remote becomes unreliable, ensure you follow each step carefully and keep the remotes close together. If problems persist, Consider using a replacement remote or a remote control app that's compatible with the V2 Pro model.